Hi guys, my name's Tom Barton. I'm a physiotherapist and yoga teacher based in Brisbane. And I just wanted to show you through this new QSwim app and uh, how to use it and how to make the most of it. So uh, I've just uh, screen mirrored my phone up to the TV so you can see exactly what's going on. And if we click on the QSwim app, we come up to our initial home screen, which breaks things down into four categories. So We've got a build your own area, a video library area, a testing area, and an education area. So we've tried to cover our bases and make sure that um, we're using some testing, we're implementing some, some changes, and then we're going to retest and build some knowledge base around how we, how we go about things. So if I click on the build your own section, there's four areas that we want to work with. There's a warm up, which sort of encompasses body awareness and mobility. Uh, routines, trunk control routines, uh, shoulder control stuff, and some challenging work as well. Within all four of those categories, there is also four different levels. Okay, so I've just clicked on trunk control. We've got four different levels. If I now click on level two, we've got all these options that have come up here and it's different exercises. So if I click on the bear crawl, for example, As that loads up, so you can see here this is Mitch Larkin who's been kind enough to do the filming for us and rather than having audio layover we actually have uh, graphic overlays that just give, give us the three to four main uh, concepts with each exercise. So we're not bombarding people with too much information, we're just actually focusing on the core concepts and letting them work with that. Okay, so each exercise uh, and works through different ranges. So this is a core control exercise, but it's also or trunk control exercise, but it's obviously also going to be working the shoulders and it's quite challenging. So in this area, we've watched that. Now we want to say, okay, I like that exercise. I'm going to add that to my routine. And when we build a routine before we swim, we want to leave it to sort of five to 10 minutes. So we're not overexerting, but we're waking the muscles up. We're hitting all of our targets. So when we get in the water, we swim well. So that might be one of the exercises we choose. We also might choose a level two warm-up exercise, like a sun salutation, which is quite a nice exercise, and maybe a side angle to, to strengthen the obliques. If we then go back to shoulders, we might say a level three shoulder exercise. It might be a cross connection and some planks with alternate arm lifts. And then if I'm happy with that, and that's enough of the routine for me. I'm then going to just type in a demo. So I've just named it and that's now going to be merging in the background to form your very own routine. If I can now click on video library, you'll see that here are some pre-saved options. Now I can swipe this across and delete it, which I'll do now. I can download this pre-saved and that will be downloading in the background. And I can also check if I click up on these top icons that the video that we just made is actually pre-populating in the background. So I'll get a message maybe in four or five minutes to say that that video has actually been merged together while these other ones are merging in the background. Okay. The next section that we want to have a look at is our testing section. So this is uh, basically swim screen uh, assessments that we've done in Australia for a long time and instead of testing just our elite athletes we want to use these tools and use technology to be able to um, allow us to identify injury risk and also performance limitation factors earlier and with our athletes based all around the country. So a nice example here say if we again if we have a look at the combined elevation so this is obviously Mitch doing a combined elevation. What I might want to do here is capture a new photo. So if I have a squad member that I want to take a photo with doing this exercise, I'll just say capture the new photo. It then gives me access to my photo library. Oh, sorry, to my camera. Okay. Ideally, we'd have someone in there streamlining, but for the time being, we'll just utilize this. Just as a demonstration model, you can see, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. There's lots of options here. 
Uh, I can draw, I can draw straight lines, squiggly lines, I can circle things to highlight. But the big thing in this scenario is to be able to use our um, inbuilt inclinometer there where I can measure. So with Mitch here, I might choose a yellow one, which is the measuring of angles. Uh, I can adjust this the whole time, which is really nice. Saves so making errors. And then we can say that's 6.8 degrees. Now, if we have another athlete over here that's you know, below, maybe 10 degrees below the horizontal, we know that that's going to be an issue. I'll then screenshot that so it's going to save to my photo library. I'll go back to the compare images section and I'll check whether I was in the, within that traffic light system, whether I was in the green, the amber, or the red. Now, the areas that are red are really indicative of problems that are going to A, slow you down as a swimmer, but B, also increase your injury risk. So we, we want to gear our understanding around these measures. And if there are a lot of areas or even one area that's in the red, we want to, um, we want to increase our awareness of that and then do something about changing that as quickly as possible. Next section is our education section. So we've got some PDFs in here and some videos. Uh, the video area is where you would have found this, uh, this little video, but uh, within the PDFs we've got a, an actual user's guide, a, a pre-swim flow chart which talks about if your combined elevation is off, how to actually go about changing that and the steps you'd go through, uh, a poster on different breathing zones and how to regulate breathing, a combined elevation poster, some work on some physiology from Lachlan Mitchell, and then my contact details as well. If I go back, head into the video section, this then links us through to our YouTube channel. And our YouTube channel is gonna be constantly added to, and um, things like how to properly execute a chin-up, taking away things like uh, thinking about pulling your shoulders back and down when you're doing exercises. We wanna use this education tool as a way of dispelling you know, old wives' tales or um, really inherently or really strongly held onto beliefs around what athletes need to do and potentially things that we need to move forward from as quickly as possible. Now, if I go back into, uh, out of the, the education section, back into our library, we'll see that that original uh, movie is now processing and what it's then doing is processing to then be saved as in my photo library. When that's in my photo library, then offline I can access that um, whenever I want, I don't need internet and it just makes things a whole lot easier. Now the idea is really when we when we see these four different levels of these four different groups of exercises, we want our athletes to progress through the levels. Okay, so particularly our junior athletes, they should all be working on level one exercises, building competency competency around that and then progressing as both the coach, the parent strength and conditioning coach if there's one available as they see fit uh, and then slowly building up towards level three and level four exercises where there's a bit more challenge involved okay it's available for everyone to be able to use within the squad uh, but we want to use it as an educational tool so you're learning some particular maneuvers exactly how to do them building your own video and then getting good at that moving on and progressing okay um, have fun with it. If you've got any questions, just let me know. My contact details are in the education section. Otherwise, enjoy.